So, um, folks, we're going to leave the island of Jamaica and um, and and head back on the trail to Sierra Leone. And um, to do that, we'll start off with the an initial. Uh, we're going straight to the heart of Maroon Town, which is the St. John's Maroon Church. And we'll start. <laughs> By powers of our ancestors and in their honor, I have entered the sacred place on this most blessed day in which the Maroons on the island of Jamaica have started a new era of cooperation with the government of Sierra Leone. And as such, we continue with pride, dignity, and glory where our ancestors left off. May our ancestors, God, and future generations richly bless and cherish this building. Blessings and powers. What's his name? J.M. something. I can't really read this. Mm. Uh, Minister of Finance and Marine Secretary on the island of Jamaica, mm. accompanying Moore Town, Scotts, Halls, and Charlestown. So Interesting. Many, so many, yes. Interesting. Some people from one. Yeah, how far back does... Okay, no, you change it every year, yeah, I'm guessing, when the book fills year. up. Yeah, yeah, so this is from the last 10 okay. years. <laughs> oh, last 20 12, years. 12 years. Wait, 2008... 2008. 12, 12 years, years 12 years wow okay this is fantastic so we're at the maroon chart we're just you know having this conversation since you have to talk because this is the show <laughs> this episode now but um this episode now but creo people there and free tongue how long the church on day as national monuments the church actually became a national monument in 56 i suppose okay um, and what did that mean for the church? Like, okay, where the government took okay, in a national monument, mm -hmm. and so? <laughs> or you go ask me back. Of, <laughs> Say, no, not really. Okay. It's a place of, um, you know, it's a place set aside nationally as um, a relic. And um, I dare say it's um, on the basis of, two, I mean, for most part, it's, um, sorry, for the talk, it's not clear. Yes. <laughs> for most part, really, mm -hmm. Um, a monument and relic by name, right? Because the church predominantly is funded by the church activities, and... right? Thank you. Um, thank you all. So I will take the opportunity um, to introduce um, a member of the Maroon Church, Mr. Victor Kwame Baba Richards. He's a Maroon descendant and his great, great, great grandmother came from Jamaica. Uh, he's a senior steward 
at the Maroon Church and has been at doing the administration of the church for the last 10 years. And they continually to man maintain uh, the Negro spiritual program. He uh, visited um, Jamaica to celebrate with the Maroons, his brother and sisters, and uh, he never misses the opportunity to um, connect again with his brother and sister. And he was very happy to uh, be here to tell this, the, the story of, Maroon, of the Maroon Church and the Maroon community. Most people um, don't know, but if you start from the cutting tree on Padember Road and come down Liverpool Street, sometimes people say come down Wellington Street, to Shaka Stevens Street, and you make it back to um, 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 the cutting tree, you would have gone, you would have walked the borders of the Maroon, um, what was, what's known as Maroon Town. And this is a, this is a place uh, Mr. Victor uh, Babariches knows very well. He's a national president of the Boys Brigade in Sierra Leone and um, interim president of the West Africa Regional Fellowship of the Boys Brigade. He is also pre president of the Big Fives, a very important um, a voluntary group of union uniformed organizations, the Scouts, the Boys Brigades, Girls Guy, Girls Brigade, Red Cross, YMCA. And um, you can tell this is a man in the community, of the community, and um, is the best one to, hear, to listen to about the Maroon community and within the context of Sierra Leone. Uh, Mr. Victor Barbariches, the floor is yours. Good evening. I want to tell Mamaji, Kushe Mamaji, Kushe Chief Michael, and Kushe Melbourne Gaba, and all. Of course, Babu Kushe, thank you. And thank you to Edgar. Let me say thank you very much for the opportunity given to me. Um, of course, uh, Maroon Church is a symbol of the Maroons in Sierra Leone. And um, the boundary of the Maroons in Sierra Leone is from the cutting tree to where we call Joki Bridge, getting to um, Choice Camps. I was told that's the boundary from that end to the other end. That's the boundary. That's the Maroon Town. And I was fortunate to even not only the, 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 the descendant connection, but I was born in Maroon Town. I was born in a house in Maroon Town. And um, at Battle Street, I was born in a house. I never, my mother never uh, went to the hospital. I was born in a house, in a home. That home belongs to the former mayor of Freetown. That is, um, Don Akibobet, was a chairman, but the uncle, the uncle was the mayor of it at that time. Yes, in the 60s. Well, we in Maroon Church, I could remember some years back, if not about 10 or more years back, we, we, we embraced, or 15 years back, I think, we embraced our brothers, our brothers and sisters from Jamaica. Maybe like remember Nicole, and also Blood, Blood and Nicole, and um, there was somebody else, I could not remember the name, there was he in number, they came to Sierra Leone. And we, we, we share ideas, say there's a need for us to come together to have this Maroon thing be established more so people can know our history. Um, they went back, and after that, we, we, we had a break. And later on, thanks to uh, I said to Smith at that time, the chairperson for um, Monument Analyst Commission <clears throat> came back to inform the church that they are going for the Tudori Town uh, March 1st program. And we were invited. And I was fortunate to be part of the team. And of course, I met. Mamaji was there and I met Chief Michael. And I was so overwhelmed with what I saw. It was really my home. 
it was really a homecoming for me. Because I, I, I see most of the things just like Freetown. The food stuff. They are just like Freetown. The way people behave, it's just like the, the, the man who said Freetown, the Creoles. So I was so happy to be there. And I thank God for the opportunity. Now for us in Freetown, no, we've been thinking, what can we do to make the Maroons history do not die just like that? And so um, this date of the 30th September, which is the date that they landed in Freetown at Government Wharf and walk up to the step to come up to the area where I've just named. We are thinking as a church, what can we do? This year, we thank God we can talk, but next year we are praying, God's, God's willing, and He will spare us definitely, that we'll have a walk from that site, the landing site, to the church, and we'll have a one hour Negro spiritual service, a service of remembrance, of praise and thanksgiving. We are thinking about it, and I believe. Adrian and Barbara and others will take note of that to see how we can galvanize more people to come on board. Um, we are also thinking of, as, as Mama G said, a pilgrimage to Jamaica and also to come down to Freetown. When we, we were thinking of an exchange, you know, for people to come on board and share. I can remember when Blood came and Nicole. We, 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 we share a lot of things and they were happy. Like the food stuff, the cooking, like the rice bread, like we, we call rice, rice, bread, rice bread, the, 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 the ginger beer, the coconut cake, huh? the plantain chips. These are all part of the things we, 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 I saw in uh, Jamaica. And I think we need to work towards that. As a church, we also move forward further by looking at the date that yet next year and also anchor on the Sunday to celebrate. Maybe to recall, I'm just making a suggestion that we will be discussed later, to be called a Maroon Sunday, where we shall invite all Maroons to come. The mouse are there. Those guys are there. But they want something to trigger them so they can come closer. So we are going to see how best we can put ourselves together to push people to come up. Because when you ask some people around town, they will tell you, yes, my great-great-grandmother, she, she was attending this church and she told me, oh, yes, and great grandfather came from that side and so on and so forth. Uh, I could remember I went to the museum to check the number that landed. I think they, they told me it was at least 510 people that landed. And the first set that went back, I think it was 76 or 70, 76 or 78, I can really remember. We need all those names. We need the names that landed so we can remember them. You know, and uh, as a church, we always uh, will embrace the Maroon connection. We would like to do that. And we want it to be part of the church. Because remember, you know, the Maroon church in Freetown, it's a limestone building. It's a limestone building. The history behind the church is this. As I was told, they said when they landed, they don't want to go back. So they dismantled the boat, as I understand. And some of the, the woods were taken to that building that we are seeing today. And they, of course, before then, it was a makeshift building. Something like we call Pambodi Zinc Shack. But later on, they change it with a limestone. And um, 
up till now, we are still maintaining the building. Even though it was a difficult thing for us, like remember, we have to engage engineer Gaba, that's Melbourne's brother, to come up and advise us what can we do. And what we did was to do a popping up the outside of the church. And that's the only time we brought in the cement and sand business and uh, I got into the church. But the, the entire structure is a limestone building and we are maintaining it. Now we, of course, the benches. We cannot maintain all the benches because you know that they're not the, 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 the time. Uh, some of them have been um, wear out. But we tried to manage some in which we still have them. We kept them at the back because we are undergoing a building project now at the back. So we replaced them with some chairs. But we maintain that one still. And um, the, there was a missionary from the UK that was buried inside that church. I don't know the easy why behind it. So I hope Melbourne will help us to investigate why was that done. But that was the, the tablet sees. And um, of course, we are maintaining the Negro spiritual worship of the dancing and singing. Because when I went to Jamaica, of course, I saw the church, the way they worship, you know, it's all legal spiritual worship and praising God Almighty. And we still maintain that. And um, we are hoping that we, from this point, it's a new beginning. That we want to see us coming together. Because we have a unique history. When I was in church, I remember this, during the celebrations of the 230, I sat down when Melbourne was reading the letter from chief and I was, and from that letter I understand that, I think is it the mother, chief mother the mother of chief Michael was in Sierra Leone or the grandmother, I don't know, was in Sierra Leone or the great grandmother or something was in Sierra Leone, so for me I think we have a unique history to maintain and all of us will come together, the church sends me to say we are ready to walk and we all should work together so we can maintain the history of the Maroons so that it will not die. There are, there are people out there who are waiting for us to just trigger something and they will jump on board to join all of us so that we can maintain it. But I want to assure one thing I know that next, come next year, God's willing, God's grace, in September, the 30 will not be celebrated lightly. We'll make sure from now on. I'm going to start the campaign. We have what we call the leaders meeting. And on Sunday, by God's grace, I will let the meeting know that, of course, I participated in this program. And then I will take it from there to inform them that next year, whatever Sunday after the date 30, we shall celebrate as a Maroon Sunday, wherein we will let you know the plans. And then we see how best we can invite people to come. And I don't know, but we, start, we, we need to be thinking of the exchange visits, you know, of our people over there, in Jamaica and us going over there also to them. Uh, I can remember during Isatu's time, we were discussing such to see how much we are getting more people on board to go and see Jamaica and to see. The, 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 the goodness of God in Jamaica, in that highland, in that island, in the mountain. When I went to that mountain, I was like, wow. I was taken to the riverside where I was told that's the place they passed the slaves, etc., or the people or whatever. I was like, good. We have something to tell our, ch our children's children. And one thing I want to ask kindly and to advise that we need some documentation also put things in documents so that we can pass it on to others, you know, so that people will know about this rich history of the Maroons. Uh, let me thank you all for the organizers for inviting me. And I want to assure you that Maroon Church is ready and willing to work with your community, with your organization, so we can see what we can get from this uh, relationship. And uh, I know Chief is there 
waiting for us to come back and we shall definitely come back i know member is ready to for us to go back we shall definitely go, go back we shall definitely mama g i am coming soon don't worry i'll be there i'll be there definitely by god's grace so can celebrate uh, i know march first to be the celebrations of the i don't know what's the what's the name for the lonely town but anyway we shall see what we can do so that we can make our lives better with our people let me thank you all and i wish you all well and i pray that god will bless us all and the souls of our faithful departed will continue to have they fought for us so we must maintain and keep the, the fire burning god bless you thank you thank you thank you um victor or richard thank you very much for sure my room sunday September 30th sounds like a great connection to keep. And definitely, uh, um, I think um, looking for the names and the details is part of why we're doing this. And we hope it will come out um, when throughout these connections. So thank you very much for um, bringing that, um, giving the, the, the Sierra Leonean side to Maroon Town and the hopes and dreams that the community will at least rebuild, come around the church again and maintain this proud heritage that we can see the Jamaicans are also doing.